Hi, Kevin Coop here, and this is FaceTime with the Content Guy, coming to you from uh, Southern California. Um, and uh, listen, let me tell you, this is uh, Manhattan Beach behind me. If you were to go in that direction, you'd go to Hermosa Beach, Redondo Beach, and I've always loved this stretch of California coastline. I actually went to school at Loyola Marymount University, which is just a few miles more in that direction. And I used to love it when I was a student. You know, you come down, park the car, and go for a walk, listen to the waves, stop at a place, get this enormous $2 burrito, dollar beer, maybe walk up the street and go to a movie for a buck and a half for $2. Well, well those times have changed, let me tell you. Uh, almost as much as you can hear the sound of the waves in that direction, over in that direction on the strand you can hear the the sound of saws and hammers and drills because what's happening is is a, a lot of this has changed and a lot of the old houses have been torn down and have largely been replaced by by mansions and I guess that's the circle of life I think it's lost a little bit of the charm on the other hand if I could afford a five million dollar mansion I might feel differently about it anyway I'm here in Southern California and a lot of you probably have realized that because morning news newsbeat has been coming out a little early this week time zones really work for me here I can do morning newsbeat late at night uh, get a good night sleep and go for an early morning run. How great is that? Um, three reasons to be here. One is, well, selfishly, there's no snow on the ground. And back home is like still 18, 20 inches of snow. It's going to take weeks, maybe a month for it all to, to, uh, to melt away. And a little sunshine, you know, that's a good thing. Uh, now, second thing, I've got a legitimate business reason to be here. I've got a speech here in Southern California this week, and that's a great reason. But the third reason is it's kind of cool. I have a 20-year-old daughter who is a uh, criminal justice major. She's a junior, and uh, ah, Dean's List student, and uh, she's just gotten invited to be into the National Criminal Justice Honor Society. So really, really special, special kind of student. And one of the things she's toying with is the idea of, of law school. So I brought her with me, and one of the things we did this week is we went and visited Loyola Law, which is affiliated with Loyola Marymount University. And, and let me tell you, what a great experience. These people are terrific. The campus is really, really interesting. The opportunities are fabulous. And I mean, I walked away from the discussions thinking to myself, I want to go to law school. This sounds like a lot of fun, a lot of work. She's got a lot of decisions to make, but man, it just seemed like such a wonderful opportunity. Uh, last night, uh, we were sitting at dinner at a place called Simsy's, which is just up from the pier in Manhattan Beach, and a place that we've both been to a number of times. I love it. It's kind of a regular kind of joint, uh, neighborhood bar. You know, sometimes you wait 35, 40 minutes. The, it's not like the food is like, you know, really, really fancy, but it's really, really good. And they've got a great beer list, great wine list. We we're sitting having dinner last night, and she said, well, Dad, I'm curious, if, if you were here by yourself, what would you be doing? And I said, well, I'd probably be here. I'd probably be sitting at the bar, but I'd almost certainly be here. And she said, oh, that just seems so sad to me that you'd be here by yourself. And, you know, I sort of explained to her that, listen, I don't think it's sad at all. I mean, listen, I've been doing this for a long time. As they say in Godfather 2, this is the life I have chosen. But I love going on the road. I still love traveling. I love um, going to new places and, 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 and meeting new people and talking to bartenders and waitresses and hearing their stories because those are always really sort of interesting. Maybe talking to the people sitting next to me, learning what their stories are all about. Um, I really, really like that. Always, always have. Um, to me, it would be a lot sadder, you know, if I did what some of the people I know in this industry do, which is, you know, they get off the plane, they go to their meeting, they go to their hotel, they order room service, and they do it all over the next day. And I can't do that. That to me would be sad. Um, you know, it's just great fun to have conversations. You know, to me, what would be sad, you know, and you see this all the time in restaurants, you see people who are sitting there with another person, and uh, sometimes maybe they're out on a date, and sometimes it looks like they've been married forever. And they don't talk to each other, right? They just sort of eat. And, and I've never believed in that whole thing about, you know, well, a really great relationship is one where you don't want to have, a, you don't need to have a conversation. Well, to me, a great relationship is where you can't wait to have a conversation with the person that you really care about, the person that you love. I mean, I, I mean, I mean I'm married for, you know, almost 32 years, and I can't wait to see Mrs. Content Guy to, to share with her, with her the things that I've done and the things that I'm thinking and the things I'm passionate about. And more importantly, I want to hear about what she has to say. I want to hear about the things that she is passionate about. Um, that to me is a great relationship. You know, it, it, it seems to me that in, in business and in life, you, you sort of, you stop living when you stop learning. It's really important to go out and learn stuff, to go soak as much stuff up as you can, whether it's seeing a store that you've never seen before, talking to people that you might not have talked to otherwise, or just having a local beer or a glass of wine, something that expands your horizons, because that's the thing that can make things us, I think, better people, quite frankly, and also better business people. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this Thursday morning, and as always, 
I want to hear what's on your mind. 